All right, we are live. Good morning. Uh, today is Sunday, August 14, 2016, and we have with us uh, um, a guest. Please welcome Jay. And he muted. Oh, you're there. All right. Yeah. Thank you for um, joining us. And Brie, you can take it from here. Oh, hold on. One more thing. Sorry. I need to read our announcements. Just a second. I'll press the button. So I press the button, which is humancolony.org. And uh, now we make a tradition to read the future events. There is a calendar there. And so they are starting in an hour, 1 p.m. Uh, weekly webinar uh, dealing with change. So Sabrina is doing weekly webinar dealing with change in an hour. Uh, Monday, August 15, when does Bashar self-love challenge? And it is weekly until the end of the month. Tomorrow also there is a possibility of Zechariah webinar. We'll see if, it, if how it goes. On uh, August 20th, Saturday, there will be Trinity Saturday webinar. Trinity is Sephira. And Mark will administrate the webinar. And Wendy also will help as a, as a host. Uh, Jim comes back on Saturday, two weeks from now, August 27th, Saturday webinar. I will be hosting and we'll be looking at, at the pictures. Hey, I'm, have a new busy. I'm in a live chat. We have, we have a new painter. <clears throat> I can't talk, sorry. Uh, who is a uh, Khan? And he painted several nice pictures of extraterrestrials. And we would like to ask our extraterrestrial friends uh, comments about how do they look. So we will show the pictures and we'll see if uh, they have any comments. There will be Saturday webinar by uh, Sabrina. And the same August 28th will be Reiki 1 class with Jim and Max. And this is $50 per one one part of the class, then another fifty dollars for it. Uh, next Sunday, another part of the class, and that will break you one A and one B. So sign up; you can pay right on the Human Colony side. And that's all what we have planned. So now I'm done, and Bree, you can take it from here. And I will come back with the pictures to show the pictures to terrestrials when they if they come through, and um, we'll see how they comment on them. That will be later today. Wonderful. Thank you, Max. That is exciting. Um, yes, hi, my name is Bree, and um, I'll just be helping moderate today for Jay. So we will be able to have questions here in the chat or on the event page. You can ask your question. Um, and so with that said, Jay, we would love to know kind of how you got started with all of this. Um, I personally don't know your backstory at all. This is my first time being able to interact with you. So um, I would really like to know kind of what got you into um, channeling. And um, then with that said, kind of what the journey has been like since that point. Yeah. Um, well, my name is Jay LeBlanc. I go as Earthling J as well, and I'm a part of Vibrations of Peace, um, a business that I created, and now I've merged with my my friend Sean, who's also a channeler. But to back it up even more, in uh, December of 2012, I uh, definitely that was like the beginning of the the story, where I, I saw a ghost for the first time. And it just, I was always interested in spirits and the other side, but when I saw a ghost, it like made me just, it just transformed my whole reality. And then it just made me think more and more. And you know, I knew there was something more. And so I went on like a research thing for about two years, found 
Pukaloo. I found other channelings on YouTube. I was like obsessed with it. I was just like hours and hours a day. I was watching it because I was like, is this real? Is it not? I was like going through my own thing, like, and I kept watching more and more, and I kept realizing that all this information is really good information, and I just kept going further and further with it, and I never really, like, I didn't, I wanted to channel, but I didn't know how, and I didn't know how to start or anything like that, so there was, and I was really, really into channeling, like, the videos and watching them, like, for, like, two years straight. And then all of a sudden, at a um, Saco Main river trip, I, I just spontaneously started the channel for about five, six hours. And I just let it happen. I just let go. And I let God, <laughs> or the first message I got, just let go and be king. And we're all kings and queens of our own castle, our body, and things like that. So that's how I, how it started. And then I didn't know how it happened. It just happened. Months after that, I was like, how did this happen? How do I do this? And then I kept trying to do it. Well, you can't try to do it. You just got to do it. <laughs> so I really didn't know where to begin. And then I did take a, a private session with Jim from Human Colony. And I asked, like, a few, like, step-by-step -step things that would help me personally with channeling. And he went on by, um, I believe it was Takur that he was channeling. And he went on by saying um, a breathing technique, do a breathing technique. And that's what I've been doing from now on to start the channeling. But I've been getting better and better. I've been able to telepathic communicate with any being I wish pretty much, you know, like if I haven't done too many, but for the most part I can telepathically connect and not even, and then I could allow them to come in if I wish into my body and use my voice to speak. So I'm getting like a little bit like better with like the psychic communication now, but I was, I, come, I almost like jumped like two things and got the channeling and now I gotta jump back one and go back to psychic like communication. <laughs> so that's a little bit or that's a lot of what I my story. And yeah, I love I like channeling a lot. And I just I like Reiki healing too. I do that. I just got certified in level two. Very excited about that. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, Reiki it seems to be very beneficial for all of this stuff, obviously. So, wow, that's a um, very interesting start to all of this, especially. I mean, I always like hearing that people didn't know what the heck to do or how to get started, and then they just kind of try, and they go from there, and that's all it takes, right? So um, that's awesome, Jay. Thank you. Um, we did think that we could go ahead and maybe have a blessing done beforehand if there would be anybody interested in giving a blessing before Jay gets started here this morning. So um, would anybody be up for a blessing before? Can I be emerging of this blessing? Of course you can. All right. I have, a, I have like a feeling of like doing a, someone doing a blessing. Yeah. And me making like sacred space around that blessing for all of us. All right. Uh, anybody else? Uh, let's just line up in, in the beginning so we know who is, who is doing the blessing. Angie? So, people, if you can show your faces, that would be great. Uh, hey, Angie. Hey, uh, Bianca. Hey, Jeroen. Ah, Khan is here. So, Khan, I will show your pictures just a little later today, so we will have some comments. Hey, Khan, nice to see your face. Yay. I did realize you look like that. To me, you look like very differently. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody is speaking. Shirley, we can hear you, but uh, we see you waving. Oh, you're doing a blessing. 
try to test your microphone before you start. Yes, I, I can do a blessing. Uh, Wendy, yeah, you can go before me or after me if you wish. All right. So, uh, sure, I can I can go now if you guys like. I'll go. I'll go. Um, any ideas? So, yeah. Can you doing the blessing? Maybe not, right? Um, then me and then um, Bri, are you into blessings? Um, mm, I will be doing galactic blessings eventually, but I have to get comfortable. So. Oh, okay. So you will pass you. All right. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So Wendy, Shirley, and me, and that's about it, right? Um, okay. It looks like Bianca also offered to do a blessing. Uh, oh, wonderful. So, Wendy, Shirley, Bianca, me. Right? Perfect. I will type it in. Say, Wendy, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Jay, it's great to be here. So wonderful to be in this space with you. Um, we've known one another for quite some time now, so this is very exciting. Thank you for the invitation and I bless all of you that are here today in this space with us and my blessings to you Jay and the entities I feel around you you always have such a gentleness about you I love your energy Aluhaniata kai kiamalo sasiyama kiakwaya notu susumala atayama kali sotrokwa paliano noa palakosiyara ki lantrokwa misala hakiamai waliana ki Tomai wala sato koyamboko shashalahi Mawa alia ania akia shashoya pako yashanayawala toko soyalayana ki si hayalayana ki hayaya matuyasa mahala namaste Next, Nahaketinia Sese <laughs> Right? Namaste, <laughs> I thank the Indian spirits that came here 
with the wind to help me with this channeling. And I will create sacred space with us all here. Imagine and focus on a pillar of white light in the, in the middle, in the center point of all of us. It is in the ground. It is underneath the earth. It is to the center of the earth. And it is rising above the earth, this one white pillar. Now I imagine with all of you in focus on this pillar and also four other pillars around it, making a square around this one pillar. And these four pillars around this one pillar are also in the ground. Now think of all these five pillars and the points at the top pointing to all of the points as they are all connected and focus below the ground as well. It all it is pointed. It is a diamond shape. underground and above ground and it is a sacred space that we are creating here for us all. And I invite you to create a pink color vibration around all these white pillars of light. So the white is in the middle of the pillar and the pink is around and I invite you to put white around this pink as well. So the pink is in the middle. And all these blessings, blessings that we have, that has been spoken, are in this sacred space here now with us. And I have a clear connection to connect with my Pleiadian self. My aura is rising, 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 and I'm fully grounded in the center of the earth. Yes, I am Michael. I am Jay's Pleiadian self. Oh, hello, all of you. 
I welcome you all and thank you for being here. <sighs> Welcome, Michael. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for my welcoming. There is much love in this room. I thank you all for sharing it. Are there any messages that you would like to be able to share with us before we get started uh, with questions for you, Michael? Yes, I will. Speak on a message I feel. What do you feel? I am sorry, there was one that tried to come in. I am back to Michael now. Yes. Michael is here in the message. There is much love. There is much, much, much love. You are all bringing, growing, bringing forth abundant love. It is growing and is growing within you and is growing with all. And it is seen forth between others, whether you are speaking or you are just being. Oh, it is very lovely, and I am in awe. I am awe, oh, thank you, like a nice baby, you see. Aw, oh, like that. It is very touching to me. I thank you again for all of you participating in this loving energy that you are bringing forth for this planet, which you are. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. That is the message. Okay, Michael, thank you so much for that. That was beautiful. Um, it looks like Max has a question to start us off with. So, Max, if you would like to go first. And I am still unable to hear you. Oh, hello, hello. There hello. you go. Now I can hear you. Finally, all right. I was blocked. Hey, Allah, no man, I am now. No, no, Allah, Allah, Yana, no, you man. So, Michael, thank you for coming through. <clears throat> it's an honor and a pleasure. Have you met before? No, this language is my language. You just spoke. Wonderful. Thank you for confirming that. Uh, what language is that? Which star are you from? I will give you a description. It is very white there. We are underneath the purple planets or the purple skyscrapers. There is much love, much white skyscrapers that you may see. Uh, there is not a name for this vessel to come forth with. Uh, 
but it is white with glass. I am Jay's Pleiadian self. My description is very blue around my perimeter of my body, which is very floating. It is floating. It is fluttering. And I am very white, an oval white in the middle, and very blue around that. And I love to jump, jump for joy, jump for excitement. Do you have more questions, Max? Yes, yeah, 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 um, do. I did not hear the question. Max, you just cut out. Oh. If you could try again, please. All right. They talk all the time. Again, it is cut out. How about now? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. I hear you. Hello, hello. Yeah. Well. culture. The culture of us, you ask? I don't know. If are you called the blues? Are you short and float in an air? That is a name we have that you may call us blues. I like it. Thank you. Do you know our friend Lakesh? I know of him. And I am aware of Is he from you the same him. same culture as you? I feel very much so. It is true. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, once his friend was entering my body. I don't know the name of this friend, but that was my biggest uh, extraterrestrial experience. Do you know of that event? Might be. A little bit. Wonderful, thank you. And, and I will speak of it. There is, uh -huh. there is an opening that you have, Max, for higher uh -huh. vibrational energy. And it is bringing forth this being, this blue being of higher vibrational energy down forth. And you are able to feel it, expand on it, expand in it much more than... Another may be because, as you know, there cannot be a full embodiment because of where you are and your vibration. But your vibration is moving high, and it is more able, you are more open for this higher vibrational energy to bring forth down into you. That's why. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. thank you much. Uh, I'm showing on the screen the picture of Lakesh drawn by uh, Khan, who is also present here. Can you look at it and see what's, uh, what is correct and what is incorrect on this picture? His expression is very on. Um, it is in the picture of the person member here, right? Uh, Khan was a painter, and it's a picture of Lakesh, the blue of your race. 
Is it not on the chat box? Chat box? It's not, right? I don't think so. I didn't put it on chat box. I just put it on yes. my screen. Do you see it on my screen now, right now? Yes, that is what I saw, yes. Mm -hmm. His smile is perfect. Mm -hmm. And his eyes are lit up with joy. So you are correct in that way. Max, I have a message for you. Thank you. Bring more laughter into your life. Mm -hmm. It is not like you don't laugh, but it will help you. It is such a high vibration. And there is a peaking you are at. It is not a constant peaking, but this laughter will push you further. Yes, it will. <laughs> Thank you. I experienced some joy recently. Um, yes. With the, in a channeling session with Jim, yes. It was something extraordinary, exceptional. I never experienced that before, yes. And it was expressed as laughter, yes. Yes. Thank you. I can pass the microphone to other people. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Max and Michael. Um, next, we have a question from Pavel. If he, sorry, yes. if he would like to speak, um, or I can read, if you would like. Hello, Pavel. I think we could hear you for a second there. Hmm. Cannot hear you anymore. Um, okay, well, I will go ahead and ask his question. It sounds like he would like to know if there are any messages for him. Let go of this heavy weight that you are holding on to that you may not even know you are having or holding. You must be light, be lighter, Palav. If you wish, I will bring some light to you. I will bring it lighter. Do you wish for this, Palav? He said yes. Yes, he did. I was speaking with his guide. Yes, from this point forward, lightness is coming forth into you beyond better than ever imaginable. All heavy energy, all heavy thought, so oh, heavy what no longer serves you is leaving. It is left now. And you are bringing in more lights with help from me, but also from your guides. And there is another here in this group that is connected to this, and they are helping as well. It is a community here. We do not let one fall back. 
It is not like you have fallen, but your energy may have just gone a little heavy. I thank you for your invitation to connect and to bring light or energy to you. Thank you. And so it be. Thank you, Michael. Okay, next we have a question from Wendy. Hello, Michael. Can you hear me okay, Bree? Very well. Yes. Thank you for being here. I am enjoying your energy very much. I feel a deep connection to the Pleiadians. Um, I, I feel I speak this Native American language as well. And I was wondering if you might be able to talk a little bit about the connection between yes. our Native American yes. languages and our Pleiadian family. Yes. I am very excited for this question. That was Because earlier Max was speaking our language and it was very Indian as well. And I was going to speak of it, but you picked it up or you have picked it up before. Ah, it is very much excitement for this unfolding of this. Thank you for bringing it forth. Uh, it is much connections. They are the Indians, Native Americans you are speaking of, are very, very, very connected to the earth and their planets and their words and their blessings and their vibrant spiritualness that they have brought down to this earth. And it is very similar. There is more of a specific question I can answer for this connection here. Am I speaking your language? I understand it. It is very similar. Ah, Tiana. Thank you. It is a... As you would know, French in France is a bit different than French in Canada. Yes. It is like that. A little more different, but it is like that. The energy is there. So I feel a direct connection between this Pleiadian energy and the uh, Native American energies right around me. All of us, yes. I also feel very connected to several of the energies with Jay. Do Can you tell me a little bit maybe of any of our connections? Do you and I know each other, Michael? We do not know each other personally, yeah, but these Native Americans have spoken no. while you were speaking, and they thank us all very much for the light work we are all doing for this planet. Just one moment. Yes, you may go on. I've been experiencing, as many of us have, a great deal of blue energy, so I'm very excited that the blue Pleiadians came to visit today. Um, could you elaborate maybe a little bit on this new blue and this yes. new blue energy to, that's coming to Earth? Thank you. As many aspects of yourself are here, are always here around us, around you. There is more 
focus more of a flashlight on this Pleiadian self of you. And you are bringing forth this energy much more. And it is coming and embodying more of you as your past lives have brought some of your personality here in this life. You can bring more of it if you focus on it. It is your intention that will bring you where you wish. And it is bringing forth more blue energy, more playfulness, more joy, more just plain silly playing, just not even the care in the world. You're just playing as you wish, not another thought in the way of your playing. And that is bringing a lot of love forth, down forth. Does this answer your question? Yes, thank you. It, it feels as if many of us are finding our throat chakra voice. We're finding our own voices and feeling more comfortable with speaking our truth. And, and I was feeling a little bit of that vibration with all of that blue energy. So thank you very much. And thank you for being here. I, I love that you've come to, to visit with us today. I am enjoying this very much. Thank you. I love for you, I have love for you, and I love you. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, next, we have a question from Shirley. Hello, Michael. Hello. What is your name? Shirley. Charlie. <laughs> Shirley. Yes, Shirley. That's with right. A, with an S. With an S. Yes. Thank you for being here today. Your energy is very sweet and playful. Mm, yes, it is. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, I would like to know: Do you have any messages for me, Lord? For you? Yes. If you have any advice. One moment, there is two messages. Is there a being or spirit that you are wishing to connect with in this recent time? I think um, maybe more my guide. Yes. Okay. Is it a little difficult for you? Uh, yes. I'm yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The first message was you have a gate here, and it is open. You think this much right here? If you see my hands, it is open. The gates are here, and it is open. So you can see through this gate. But you must open your gate much further. Wrap around. Yes, wrap around. Don't just make it open like this. Wrap around. Open completely. Completely, surely. What is there to lose? There is only to gain yourself and more of yourself. Let go. Let go, and you will be amazed of what you will find, and what you will see, and feel, and smell, and taste as well. All of the senses, even more that I am not speaking of. 
Does this help you very much? Or does this help you, Shirley? Yes, thank you. Yes. Your guides are asking you to open up. So you are more able to hear. Lose the thoughts that aren't that are building that wall or that gate. Lose them. Woo, there we go. They're gone. <laughs> That is all I have for you, Shirley. Okay, thank you very much, Michael. Yes, thank you for sharing. This has helped others. Yes, thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Michael. Um, next, we have a question from Angie. Um, she would like to know, she says, greetings Michael, is it you who visits me during the day? Do you have a message for me please? It is my friends, it is not me. It was a group of blues, I will say, that are coming. Is it in dream state? I do not hear anything. Okay, thank you. Um, next we have a question from Valerie. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Before we go to Valerie, um, Angie is saying it's not in dream state, so she's curious if she, you could maybe elaborate a little bit more. Is it astral? It is not in the astral. She means when she is awake and conscious in this reality. Yes. They visit you in astral and dream as well. There is not much more to this. Okay. So it sounds like it is um, during the day and also in astral. Okay, she says thank you very much. Perfect. Um, all right, backing up a second here. Actually, next we have a question from Khan. Uh, Wendy is going to ask for him. Hello, Michael. Khan would like to know, he's feeling this energy from you very, very strongly, and he's wanting to know more clearly, is it because of his weakness of energy or his strength of his connection to you? I believe that is how he would like the question phrased. There is no weakness of energy. There is strings that are attached to you that may be a little bit heavy energy but your body is not of a weakness. Okay. In this connection, and you are open to this connection, so you are feeling this connection. Okay, I see. All right. And you are walking deeper and deeper into, I will use an analogy of the ocean. Just like Shirley, maybe her feet or knees were in the water as the fence or the bridge, but you are walking very deeply 
Can I ask her what, what is it again? Calm, yes, calm. We are walking very deeply in this ocean of connection. That is what I have for you. Is there something information you could give to Khan regarding his connection that he's a, that about his ability to draw all these beings? He seems to be very, very connected to many of these energies through his drawings. And I was wondering if you could give him any information regarding his drawings, please. There is a space, there is a bubble space that you jump into and you are in your bubble and you are able to draw freely and flowingly these channel drawings and other drawings. Just be aware of this bubble that you are in because it is a interdimensional bubble that is feeding it is, there are streams of energy, of information coming, which way and that. And there is a connection, a greater connection you have when you are in this state. Does that answer your question, Khan? Yes, he says yes, thank you. Much love. Thank you. Wonderful. Okay, um, next we have a question from Valerie. Hi, Michael. Hello. I don't believe I've spoken with you before, spoken with you before, so um, it's a very, very deep pleasure for me to meet you and speak with you. Yes, it is an honor of mine as well. To speak with you. I have um, watched a lot of different shows about um, uh, this, the deep space program that we have here on Earth. And the blue spheres have came up as being a ninth density being. And um, I see myself as well with a lot of blue and my daughter too. Yes. So um, everything they say, everything that they stand for really resonates with me highly. Um, I wonder if you have contact with these ninth density beings. There is some contact, yes. Can you can you speak to us about them? About what their message is? They are very unconditional. And they let you... let you do what you wish. And if you are asking upon their help, they will come. They will come. In this program, yes, it can be quite dark, but also there is a light in this space program. Is there more of a specific question with this? I do not where, know where to go. I wonder if there is a message for humanity from the blue sphere beings that we need to hear. One moment. I will connect with one. Thank you. That will speak as the collective of them. They can appear as orbs.
They are healing what needs to be healed. On a higher level, you all have agreed to this healing. That these blue sphere, ninth Pleiadian beings are bringing down. There is much information, but it is needed to be asked for. Is there a, is there a message for all? It is this. Do as you wish, not wish to do. Do not be in just the wishing. Do the doing. Do parts in here. It is quite to the point. We can wish for contacts with other beings. We could wish for this. We could wish for that. But it will only take you so far. It is this step after that you will take forward that will bring Bring more of what you wish for. This vessel has to use a bathroom very much. Huh. I will connect. I will keep the connection. Thank you very much. And I will be stay. back momentarily. Sounds good. We have right, a little bit of break time. Huh? Let's do a break, yes. I'm kind of glad for a break right now because that message was quite uh, profound in my view. Yes, mm -hmm. it sure was. That was um, that was exactly what I think some of us needed to hear. <laughs> Beautiful healing energy. I got to tell you guys that, um, you know, I went to the top of the mountains <laughs> the night before last. And, nice. Um, yeah, it's up at the border where Idaho and Montana meet on the Lolo Pass area. Gorgeous. Well, 14 miles down from that on the Montana side is a hot springs that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. The hot springs. I float on the uh, water. You know, I, I'm a floater. <laughs> so I'm floating on the water and watching the dusk. It's the sky turned the most beautiful color I have ever seen. A mix of blue with just a little purple in it. And uh, the moon was out. All I could see was the sky. A few stars coming out and the trees on the edges. And I must say, there's no, no better way to feel connected to the earth than being a part of it like that. Um, what a beautiful image, Val. Thank you. I felt the blue. I felt wow. the blue is what I'm trying to say, and that's why yes. it's so important for me to ask about that today. And I did feel the healing as well. And so um, Michael backed that up for me. Thank you so, so much for that time. Yes. You are welcome. Hello? Yes, I am back. Hello. My name is Bianca. Uh, I just want to know if I know you. Yes, you do. Cool. How do I know you? <laughs> Or like, what, is it a um, Palladium past life? Yes. 
I was going to say, we are friends. Cool. And then you said, was. And yes, we were in that past life friends. But it is in this lifetime now, this past life. So we are friends. Yes. The bubbliness that you have. Yes, you feel this? Yes. Yes. Many bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbling up from the water. It's wonderful. Okay, thank you, Michael. Um, next, I believe Max would like to ask a question. Oh, he may have stepped away yet during the break time, so I will... Um, oh, now he is back. Okay, now we got Max. Can you hear me? Yes. So I um, spoke to my friend yesterday, Olga, and she is fascinated about Mayans the Mayan culture in around this California and Mexico area. And uh, we, I'm aware that the Mayan culture came from the star and played is called Maya. And I did some research yesterday, I googled around and I couldn't find any more specifics about that Mayan planets, how many planets are around Maya, what is the culture, what's the history of the culture. The only thing we hear is that Mayans came here, made this civilization, and, and then at some point, vanished. right? Yeah, at some point they came back. Yeah. They came back to the Maya. Although the, yes. I'm now related to Mayans through my uh, new acquired in-law relatives, so they their ancestors knew Mayan language. So I'm fascinated, and we would like to learn more about Mayans and Pleiadians and how is it all connected. Giants are connected to giants as well. Mm -hmm. And yes, they have just vanished. They just picked up and flew away back to their planets. And the connection between the aliens. So there are many the aliens, but the blues. Yes. They work in harmony. We work in harmony. They are very distant. So they are a distant relative. Is there more specific questions, Max? Um, so we know how the Mayans look. Do the Mayans, Pleiadian Mayans, the extraterrestrial Mayans look similarly? Not the, their facial, physical expression, but their energy expression, yes. We have energy expressions as well as another expression of our past lives or current lives, as if Jay has experienced someone who used to be a Pegasus. And if you look hard enough, you will see the horn. There is another that was an angel, an archangel.
who is connected to archangels, and he was an angel. And he has wings that you will see if you look clearly. So there are energy personality aspects in the Mayans that we have. So there is a backdrop of blue. Yes, that is a song of Jay's that he likes very much. Blue of the black backdrop. Uh, one of the connections I would like to explore is the connection between the Mayans and the Hindus. Do they have the same extraterrestrial roots? Yes. Yes, they do. Are Hindus also from Maya? Not exactly. But there are very similar, very close. It is a mixed breed of one and the same. But there are different planets. With the same star Maya? It is its own planet. And it's, there are in Indian, India, Indian planets. Not one, there are planets. Uh huh. That are hosting, hmm, not hosting, they are Shiva is on one. Wow. And there are other goddesses and gods and what you say of goddesses and gods, as you know them, Shiva and others, on another planet that are that is India, India. Krishna is with Shiva in this planet. There are other beings that aren't of this make physical makeup or this genetic makeup. There are insectoids there as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are there any more questions? Um, one of the ideas which, yeah, Shiva also came yesterday. <laughs> the synchronicity Shiva also popped up last night uh, as a message from another Pleiadian connected friend. So that's nice that it came together. Um, Mm, Aztecs. I haven't heard where did Aztecs come from and what's the relationship between Aztecs and Mayans? Is there... there is. is there? Yes, there is a connection. They are mixed as well, but Not as many you have left with the Mayans. There was much advancement just like the Mayans, the Aztecs. There was much intergalactic connections as well as the Aztecs and the Mayans. Mm. 
it was false idealism as much, but they were they were very in tune. But as anyone can be tricked, it was a little trickery of one of the beings that they wished to, to connect with, but a majority of them were of the light. And they have helped in this vanishing, in this spaceship for what they all came into and left with. There was much influence with the intergalactic beings that help them with this. There are star families. And Aztecs were just were another variety, another mixture of Indian as well. They're very, very similar, all of these Native American, India, Aztec, Mayan. Egyptians. Yes were connected more with the technology. The other four that I was mentioning were more connected with the Earth and aspects of the Earth and its technology. With, as you know, crystals, stones, metals, gold, and the Egyptians took it further with an additional technology and some may took it some may say took it too far mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now too is very similar as you all can feel this. Mm -hmm. Are all there right, any, no, yes, go ahead. Are there any more questions? I just wanted to continue just a second. Um, modern Aztecs and Mayans um, from the space, how would they say? The, the aliens which correspond to these cultures, are they involved and what would be the way to connect to them? They are not as evolved. I I'm mean, sorry, in, in, involved, in, yes. Involved, yes, sorry, that was my mistake. They are not as involved as other others, as Pleiadian, Arcturian, Grey, Other beings of light are more interconnected with this and involved. Other beings. Sorry, fix that. Go on. Yes, cat like species are connected with this. Mm hmm. the fellow feline. The eagles. Oh, wow. And the bears are here. There is much from all sides to help. 
and each to do their own parts, as they have their strengths and weaknesses. They are an intricate part of the puzzle. Mm. I pass the microphone to, to Pavel. Thank you much. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Um, before I read his question, I would like to actually ask something related to this topic. Um, because in planning the Global Pyramid Conference, I found out a whole bunch of amazing information, including the fact that pyramids in Egypt, at least, as far as I know right now, um, some of them were used to purify water for healing, uh, purify rainwater. And I'm wondering if that same sort of understanding about pyramid technology for the use of healing and water purification was used in other parts of the world as well, um, yes. including the Mayan and Aztec civilizations. Yes. You are 100% correct. It was. And there are pyramids everywhere. There is a pyramid underneath those pyramids that you are speaking of. There is, do you know, the three main pyramids that everyone sort of knows of in Egypt? Yes, the pyramids of Giza. The th yes, the three in the triangle. Is this right? Yes. And in the middle of this triangle of the three pyramids, below that, there is another pyramid. It, it, it is solid black. And yes, the pyramids do help much with water. This, it helps molecular structures. It helps your molecular structure. It's water's molecular structure. And it is a... It is a spiral that the pyramid brings. Brings much more life to plants. Yes. And, they, and the Egyptians had crystals in their water as well. Imagine a pool, a small round pool, with crystals all poking up from the bottom, and then there is water above that inside the pyramid. All right, this is a uh, very amazing the, validations. Thank you. The shamans, if that is the right word for that time of era, there was a A role. There was a person that had a role then as a shaman, priest, healer sort of role, and they would bring forth this water and bring it into their, their clay potting. They would pour it in. Some of you are seeing this now as I am explaining it. And he would bring this to the masses. There was some sort of secrecy within these pyramids. Do you know of that? 
Do you mean secrecy in regards to the general public and then yes. the ones that knew, like the priestesses and knew the knowledge? Yes. Yeah. Because the people trusted the entrusted ones with this knowledge. But there were pharaohs and others that did not want all to know this knowledge, for some would not use it appropri appropriately. But there was an ill intent from Toth. But he was very smart. So there was a reason for this secrecy of knowledge. There could have been some he could have brought in. What do you mean by ill intent from Toth? This is what I am speaking of now. Toth knew that there was some, not all, that were ready The Adian is leaving, and King Tut wants to come in right now to speak of this. Incredible, yes, please. Thank you, Michael. Yes. Out here. Yes. The ill intent was Toph knew that there were some, not all, that were ready for this knowledge, for more growth for themselves, but he was very hoarding. He did not want all or even half to have what he had or knew what he knew. He was very jealous. If others knew this knowledge. Why do you perceive his understanding and wanting those who can appreciate the knowledge to be given that knowledge and those who could not he, to not be given the knowledge why do you perceive that as jealousy because he did want to be at the top but he did have much intellectual abilities to bring to all the masses to help them. But there was an ego part of him that did not want all of what he knew to be known. Because of some that aren't ready, but also because of him. There was much knowledge he had but knowledge and logic can only bring you so far. He, in that lifetime, did not connect or touch his heart. He was much in the mind. So he was not neither that, in the mind or the heart. No, he was. Is what you're saying. He was much in the mind. He did not touch his heart in that lifetime. It's this the lifetime where you lived as King Tut. 
Yes, it was very close. It was... There are many stories of him. So this is the perception of your lifetime then? Not the yes. entirety of the lifetime that he lived in Egypt? No. I understand now. Thank you. And is it true, as King Tut, you were of mixed... I may stop you, if I may? Yes. And does this familiar... Does this feel familiar to you, as I was speaking of Toth being in the mind much in this technology age that was going about in this time as well? And where are we now, here? And now we are much in the mind. We are much in the technology. In the mind technology. Does that familiarize with some of you? Absolutely. Just, rem just remember that the nexus point, the center point, is your heart. Logic can only go so far with a but love is boundless and limitless. And that was his message. That was his message as well as his lesson in that lifetime. Yes. How about your message in your lifetime? My message for all, you say? Your message for the people during your lifetime. Okay. I am very proud of my people and what has been arisen or arised from my being and myself. I am very thankful for who I am and what I have brought. There was much boldness that I have brought to others. bring in their own boldness and within themselves. I would be the encourager. I would lift you up a little bit just when you need it. But that's it. One little lift. That is all you would need. Did you do that with spiritual energy? My voice. With your voice. And then the energy that was bringing out, the energy was in the voice. Yes. It, it was one and the same. So you were a great orator. You heard the words, but you felt the energy. Yes. And the body responded to that, and the mind responded to the words. And together, you would center in and gain strength from your heart. Yes, you were you were an orator, a great orator. Jay does not know that word, but he feels as he knows. A great speaker. Yes. Very well. Yes. And yes. did you have any connections to Ireland at that time? Ireland. Yes. It was another Atlantis. There are many Atlantises. Mm -hmm. What are those stones that are 
the stone hedge. Mm-hmm. I am looking for the connection of King Toth to Ireland. There was family origin from the north. Aha, uh -huh, yes. And there was a migrating downward. There was an inner knowing from him or his family lineages to travel downward south it was meant to be mm -hmm. as you have premonitions as you all have premonitions you follow them You may not know why, but once you are there, you may know more. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, yes. We have a question from Pavel next. Um, if you are able to answer this, or we can go on to the next one. His question is, what was my purpose in this life, and why did I choose it? It is a simple anchoring life. Do not think it is nothing special, but it is a simple anchoring of energies to what is around you. That is my message to you. The details will come for you. He asks um, if you mean 3D anchoring, anchoring to the third dimension? Many dimensions, but yes, it starts with that 3D, the physical. An anchoring of love and light and balance. Okay, thank you. Um, his next question is, he was wondering if you could elaborate regarding the book initiation of Elizabeth H. Or H. What is that? Um, he says it is the uh, an Egyptian book initiation. Initiation. Yes. Harsh. Pharaoh uh, Dothar? Dothir? Yes, it is bringing this information is coming forth more. Hold on. Da daughter, I'm sorry. <laughs> there was a, <laughs> a typo there. Um, the the daughter of the pharaoh named Elizabeth H. Regarding the book initiation, if you have any information. 
Yes. There are physical initiations with the hands. There are many patterns and patterning with the hands that are a part of initiations. Initiation. And there is always a connection with our spirit guides and other connections of the other side on the earth side and the sky side and within the earth side to ground these all. There are many words that are spoken. There are many hand and body positions that are needed to align more correctly and flowingly. There is much help from all sides. They are all around. It is similar to the Reiki initiations at the end of, of your practice or your learning practice. Is there more of a specific question? Is this initiation happening right now to us? In its own way, there are, and you are all picking up your own variations of your own initiation. You are bringing forth this energy and this information much more and putting a twist on it with your own energy as well. And in printing all of this and implanting it on the crown chakra is where the initiations take place. Okay. I am there in Egypt now, partaking in one, in a pyramid, in the so-called past, to further my information for you all. Ah, uh, wow! Well, did did these? There was much um... chanting. There was much chanting in this mm -hmm. room. There was circular beings within the circle of physical third dimensional beings as you know all chanting the same strengthening this initiation yes do you have questions Um, a little bit to elaborate on what you're talking about. Um, so Pavel was mentioning that the initiation um, in the pyramids of the sons and the gods, something about the snake symbol, and uh, he was saying that I think Elizabeth had said it took place inside, the initiation took place inside the king's chamber in the pyramid, are you able to validate any of that? Yes. It is, there are many initiations 
There is one for birth. There is one for death. There is one for your child becoming a man. It is one for a pharaoh. The pharaoh is in the king's chamber. It is like a blessing before a meal, as you know. It is carried on to this, and now it is that. Or just saying goodbye. It was once God bless. Goodbye, God be good. Yes, God bless. It is transformed to goodbye. It is all words, your blessings, and the intention you bring upon those. And with extra help, it can strengthen and strengthen and strengthen. Some of these initiations went on for days. Three days. the Pharaoh is deaf. Unless there is an outside reason for this not happening. Okay, that is very interesting. Um, would you call these initiations perhaps a sort of permission slip in any sort of way? Yes. Very similar. Is there is there anything we can learn from these initiations now? What what we can we learn and um, and using our practices. Were extraterrestrials involved in these initiations? Yes, they were always involved. But by spirit, they were here. Some did come down and take part physically, but not as much. And the other question was? Uh, what can we learn from these Egyptian practices? As you're looking at them, what can we take over to our daily practices or our meetings? Bless all you come in contact and create its sacred space. Create, create, and create what you wish Take that step, and knowing it is coming forth, knowing it is done, so that it is complete, and with help from others, physical or non, or semi-physical, you will be helped upon this have one intention, it will grow. One blessing will grow. Ill fruits. Yes, thank you. And let it come forth as a flower will come. Do not pull on the roots, Jay is saying and they will fruit. Just know that it will, it is already done. Environment will help. Yes, I feel that they will be instrumental in our ascension and awakening, um, the rediscovery of their uses and their benefits and the frequencies and healing. Yes. 
So that is incredible information. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. We are um, almost coming close to our end time here, but um, it looks like we do have one last question. Um, I believe she may go by uh, Zach. Zakalu or Zach? Z Zakalu? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> she um, was asking if she could find out from you what her Egyptian connection he, oh I'm so sorry, going by the photo here, he is asking um, if he could find out what his Egyptian connections are. Yes, I see you in sandals. And I was going to say, you are a man back then, but you are a man now and a man back then. I look up now. More. There is a crystal crown that you wear. It is not uncommon to see this as other jewelry you are wearing on your neck. You are a family man much more back then. Not too sure of this lifetime. I'm connecting with that lifetime now. You loved your children very much and your your wife. And you created spheres. Spears, not spheres. Spears for hunting and gathering. You were a great spear maker, but you did not want to do that as much as you wanted to make scepters of crystals, crystal scepters. But there was others that were doing this at that time, and we needed you what you have done. I have a question for you. Do you have a excite of uh, a high excitement for crystals? He says yes, he does. And act on your excitement. There was a little push there for you to push you further, but in a good way. Did you feel Did you that? Feel He says, yes, he does feel that. Absolutely. Um, he is asking if he knew back then, I believe, he means in, in this uh, past incarnation you're talking about, anyone here on this call? You knew I, King Tut. And yes, there are other lifetimes. I do not wish to connect with those right now, but you may. Okay, wonderful. 
Very interesting information. Thank you so much, King Tut, for coming through. We really appreciate it. Um, we are coming to the end of our event today. May and I ask one last question, if possible? Yes, you mm -hmm. may. Go for it. Um, I was wondering, this is Sarah. I was wondering, is there any message, maybe my Egyptian self from your lifetime has for me at this moment? Use your hands. They are a stream of healing for you, as a lot of others. But this is a strength for you, Sarah. Yes, I started doing that recently. Yes. Your hands have great strength. Utilize the strength. That is all. I wish to go now. Thank you very much, King Tut. Much love to you. Much love. Thank Can you, you give us a blessing uh, as a wrap-up? Yes, I will, Max. Thank you. Know that this now is yours. You are in control of this now that is yours. Know that this now is... You are fully in control of this now. You are completely focused in this now, and there is only love in this now that you are vibrating and radiating out. There is much love, and I am spreading more and more as I am speaking, and I ask you all to breathe in this love much more. In this light, And I'm blowing the wind away, but no longer serving you. And it is anchored inside of you now, all of you. So it be. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Welcome back, Jay. Welcome back, Jay. Hey. <laughs> Let's do some blessings. Thank for you. Up. Yes. Yes, that was incredible. Um, so, go ahead. Line up for blessings. Wow. We, you know, we can do as many blessings as we wish. And uh, now there is a webinar by Sabrina starting up, right? Uh, the link is already posted. So whoever uh, wants to go to Sabrina's webinar, please go. There is uh, humancolony.org. There is a calendar. Just uh, on the calendar, find today, uh, August 14th, Sabrina's weekly webinar. And there is a participation link right there. Allah na 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 Allah na 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 Allah Allah Who is next? Go ahead. Nayawa Alisana Atuikura Mayasala Kwahamba Tia Shala Kalondria Malia Satiha Doluha Sabaliana Maya Kuara Hala Kimba Kia Shola Yasaniana Alu Sopa Kalu Suyawa 
Me haya la kia mawa aloko kota ya hiya mawa Hakua shashia Ha na ya la ha No ya la ha Shia moha ti ara ki la kia naroa sayokoa Hota ya shniara ala ati atari kisa na koya Si haya la si si tura Mai wala si ana kayo ko shashaya wa hiwa no ya alaki hai sana ni ana ko halo su samai kayo sha mahala namaste mahala mahala mahaya allah allah na na ya allah amala haya na ula haya na ula haya na la ya na ula na haya na ora ina Sera? Sakia so shatia waka. Isia taya shati nuku atoa. Hasal toa di simi ukulutua. Sea tuka. Isu wa naiya, hasu wa daya wat anaka, tala tuwa, isi oto ata. Miwa hasaya ko, kaniya si wata, tutuwa hatia siyana. He had all that on a tiga to catch a chin arm, a roll on a eye at the car, but the end as you catch you, as you not at the car for a matter. Anyone else? Ah, so this is a suit. That's all I got. <laughs> Anyone else? All right, with that we close. Yes? That was my first time doing galactic language. I attempted. <laughs> Wonderful. That was awesome. Thank you. Shona kia ayana oito koya sha hiwa no koya pula hina kia. All right. In any way, there is uh, Sabrina's webinar have started. Um, the link is on humancolony.org, top left corner calendar. There is a link. And thank you, Jay. You're you graduated. <laughs> Your <laughs> channel <laughs> is wonderful. Uh, yeah. Thank you for it was wonderful. Us. Presence and your uh, higher energies that came through. Okay. Um, let's continue. Uh, you don't have to wait for me to, to do the webinar. Um, other hosts are available, so please yeah. do more of those. Uh, yeah. If you want to get on our calendar, uh, go ahead and. Uh, it's editable, so you don't need any additional authorization. Just click on edit and add your event on our calendar right on humancolony.org. And let us know if we can help you in any way to uh, to get incorporated in any ways. And also, you don't have to be all in under one umbrella. You can do under our umbrella and our own umbrella and other umbrellas. There is no borders. The borders are uh, elusive. Yeah. So welcome and thank you and thank you everybody. We had a wonderful crowd today, and I had goose, yes. good, good goosebumps. Thank you, and uh, Bree, you graduated. It's first <laughs> Bree's um, um, hosted, fully hosted. Uh, Yay, Bree! Uh, broadcast. Yeah, so Bree, you graduated as well, and thank you all for for blessing us with your uh, interest. Yes, this was excellent. Thank you so much, Jay. You did an incredible job. I was very excited that King talked wow. you through that. Everything. All the stuff about pyramids and everything. Yeah, we uh, we were geeking out. So <laughs> Lots of validations there. Thank you. I mean, on every level, Jay, it was great. Yeah, thank you all, and I appreciate all of you.
Awesome. All right. We'll hope to have more events in the future. Everybody stay tuned. And with that, we will end for today. Namaste and much love to everyone. Namaste. Goodbye. Namaste. Thank <laughs> you.